So if you've been following my post either on Facebook or here on YouTube about the wedding client that I have next week with the extensive don't playlist, here's the follow-up video. And I've got a lot to talk about, so bear with me. First of all, my big gripe wasn't that they had a don't playlist. The gripe was that the form that my agency provided them asked the question, period. I feel like it's a baited question. I don't feel like that people really think about individual songs they don't want to hear unless you ask them about it. They may say, well, I don't want to hear hip-hop, or I really don't care for country, or I don't care for the group active Jeezy Line Dance songs. They may just tell you that. But to ask them specifically, what's your don't plays, it's baited. And it makes them think about songs that they don't like. And sometimes they're grabbing songs that they hear at weddings a lot, and they think, well, I don't want my wedding to sound like everybody else's wedding. But they don't really realize that those are the songs that get people dancing. So it puts the DJ in a situation, and ultimately puts the party in a compromising position sometimes. So, to follow up on that particular issue that I had, I sent my agency an email and suggested that we don't ask that question for the reasons I just told you, and they agreed with me. They said, you know what, I think you're right. And in my agency's defense, just so you guys know they're good people, they're a band agency, and I am a DJ at a band agency. They just put this paperwork together about a year ago, or this form, so it's relatively new to them, and yeah, so hey, we're going to try it without the don't play question and see how it goes. So I had a meeting with the client yesterday, and they were super cool people. He's a university professor, so they live in the university neighborhood, went over there to one of the cool little cafes and had a chat. We got to know each other, and after that, one of the first things that they brought up was, yeah, I know we have this really strange, long, don't playlist. We put a lot of thought into it. And I said, yeah, that's why we're having this meeting, just so you know, and they laughed. I said, well, let's talk about that later. Let's go over some of this other stuff first. 162 guests, who are they? Turns out they're mostly peers and friends, and the age group is from early 20s to early 40s, or late 20s to early 40s, I guess. Some family, but mostly it's peers of theirs and colleagues. And then we went through the whole grand entrance, the dinner program, the toast, the speeches, all that stuff, the dances. And the last thing I got to was the don't playlist. And before I could even talk about it, they said, well, you know... What we really don't like is a lot of the stuff that we're hearing on KISS FM, which if you don't know what KISS FM is, it's Top 40 Radio. And I, I don't really like a lot of that either. They also don't like kind of the cheesy wedding stuff. And that I understand. That I can work with. So they want something different than what they're hearing on the radio. They want something different than the YMCA and the Chicken Dance. I totally get that. But they did say we do understand that not everyone's going to feel the same way we do. So... We want to encourage you to use your best judgment. He did mention the only song that I don't want to hear is Sweet Caroline by Neil Diamond because I hate it and it makes me angry. Well, I don't like the song either. It goes over well, but I don't care for it. And so I'm like, cool, I hate it too. He did say, I love Erasure and Depeche Mode. And I'm like, oh man, we're going to have fun. So he likes European dance stuff and they like stuff that maybe isn't particularly big on the radio. I can totally go with that. We got along great, and I am feeling really good about this party. It's going to be a lot of fun. Something I will mention before I go any further, this is all about the human touch. So many people are excited about all the technology, the apps, the online forms that you can create for your clients, and all the questions they can answer. All this technology is wonderful, but it's that human touch that makes all the difference. It's that face-to-face. -face. Nothing beats FaceTime. I know people, all they want to do is text. They don't even want to call you on the phone. It's this detachment from interaction that I think is a really big problem. So that human touch is important. It makes all the difference in the world. It creates trust, and it makes people comfortable. So there you have that. One last thing I will mention that I thought was kind of funny. When I initially looked at the sheet... They would mix up who the bride and the groom was a few times, and, and usually that's not a problem. The names were Jamie and Ildia. So I'm thinking, okay, I'm not familiar with the name Ildia. It sounds Hispanic. And a couple of their traditional songs they want played are Hispanic-style songs, bachata, merengue. So Jamie, Ildia, okay, Jamie must be the groom. Ildia must be the bride. I call the number provided on the agency form. Jamie answers the phone. Jamie is a woman. Is this a same-sex marriage? 
I mean, it doesn't matter that it is, it's just strange that someone didn't say that it was. I don't care, I'll do it. So I actually looked up Ilya in the last name, turns out Ilya is a man's name in Russian, and he just happens to like merengue and salsa and bachata music, so... Anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. That's the video. I've got another big video to post I just edited on scanners and moving heads and barrel rolls. So check that out. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.